Okay, so I basically didn't do an intro for this video. I don't know why. Um, it's currently at the end of the day. Um, you're about to see me do my makeup and show you guys what I make for dinner. This day flew by so quickly. So I just wanted to show you guys this quick makeup look. It's been worn basically all day. So as you could tell, it lasted all day. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I want to say. I didn't give myself an intro on this video. So thank you for, again, tuning into my channel. I know this is my only, my second only video and I'm getting used to the camera. I've done a few clips there and then, but I get nervous or I don't like something and I keep forgetting that not everything's going to be perfect and I want to show you guys a little bit about my life. I just have to be a little bit more comfortable so bear with me and also talking because sometimes I lose my breath, I forget what I'm saying, or I don't make sense. So again, bear with me and um, yeah, let's get started to the video, show you guys this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll show you guys what I make for dinner and that's what I'm currently doing. So. Stay tuned.
look my hair is straight in my makeup's done my camera died when i was doing my lip color so i wanted to show you guys some of the products that i use for my face since i didn't show it while i was doing my makeup so these are just the products that i use for my face so if you want to pause it and just look at them you definitely can i'm just going to glance at them Whew, i'm out of breath these are my wispies that i use pretty much every single day I am, like I said, a lash person, so I wear lashes every single day, basically when I have makeup on. So I try to buy them in packets of five. So you can see these I bought at Walmart, so I don't always see them everywhere, and when I do see them, I just get a few. So I have that, and basically all the products that I use, I use my Tarte Concealer, my Revolution Powder, this is a foundation that I use for Smashbox. The lip that I use today is the Milani, which is a new one that I just bought. So this one is in, if I can do it here, I am Smart 04. Milani, it's like a pinkish tone. Let me show you guys real quick. It's a good color. So I have that on my lip, and I mixed it with this Milani in... Let's see if it's going to focus here. Crush. It's a nice little purple color. So that's what I use. Some of the products and then the three-step. I sometimes use this one for under my eye, but today I use the Revolution. If I want a bright color under my eye, this is just something that I use. This is pretty much my all-day foundation or look. Sponge rubs on. Um, and then the after mist spray that I use for my face. So yeah. Pretty much everything that I use, nothing too special. And then I use a Morphe, I use a Morphe palette for my contour. I did my contour off uh, camera. So if you guys kind of want to see a, like a depth look, I'll show you guys that. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I did this look. Today is really snowy. We had a snowstorm yesterday. Today's, well, I don't even know what today is. Today is Wednesday. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. But we don't have much plan. I did want to go see uh, my husband at work. I haven't seen him for a couple days because he was stuck out there. So we stayed at a hotel. Um, so if we do anything fun, I'll just bring you guys along with me. And yeah, it's pretty much what I do with my makeup. It's like an everyday kind of makeup look. I know for you guys, you're like, what the hell? That's a lot. I wear a lot. And the lippy. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed.
Real quick before I start cleaning my messy little plates, I wanted to show you guys this um, little lamp that I got on Amazon. Um, it's from Kaya, I want to say it's pronounced. I could be wrong. But um, I wanted to buy kind of a light to go with either my phone to take pictures because I love selfies. Um, or to put on my camera when the light isn't doing so well. Um, this is what it looks like and it has three different brights to it. So it has its first one, let me move my hand, the second one, and a third one. So if you're looking for something um, kind of a light, it's really big. Let's see if I can show you guys on my phone because I haven't put it on my phone here. Let me turn it off. Kind of just shows how big it is and when it goes on. Obviously I'm holding my camera so I can't put it on but it's kind of big. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but it works for my camera. And also, I've noticed that when I'm in the bathroom and I don't have good lighting, I put it on my little mirror um, when I contour, and I love it. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick before I pick up. And I got it on Amazon. I think it was like $13. So yeah, I thought I'd figure and show you guys this neat little camera. Or, I'm sorry. The light the ring light you know what i mean it is currently 4 52 and we did our day we went out it was crazy it's so snowy and slippery out there but we made it work um i just wanted to show you guys see if you guys can see me well probably not yes oh what was that I just wanted to show you guys some um some of the things show you guys some of the things that i I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to make tonight, if I if I can talk. Um, clearly, I feel like I'm losing my voice, so as more as I talk, I feel like it gets deeper and deeper. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to make tonight for dinner. I need to, I need to catch my breath here. Um, but I'm going to make some dinner. This is what you call crock pot slop. It sounds so... I don't know. It sounds very interesting. I remember when I first heard it, I said, what the hell is that? But it's like a soup. It's really, really good. The, what I like about this is the sausage. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Let's see if you guys can see that. Um, all you need for this recipe is, I'm not going to use this whole party pack, but I'm just going to use a top row of the Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar. Yeah, so you're going to use some sausage for it an onion i put my onion back in its bag all the time and i'm just going to use probably just two potatoes because i'm not making a lot since it's just for us and the only seasoning that you're going to need is chicken bouillon so i'm going to show you guys how to make this it's super delicious i know it literally sounds and um, probably looks really weird but i tell you guys oh wait i forgot one more thing it's like it feels like it's missing something um I put cut green beans. So I put that on the recipe. The only thing about this is I drain the liquid off of it because I don't like the liquid on this. And it's just really good. The kids really like it. It's really cold outside, so we're gonna do a nice good soup, as I would wanna call it. Um, and then after that, we're going to do some hot chocolate. And they're in the room. They're in my room right now watching The Grinch. So it feels really, just really cozy in here and tomorrow's thanksgiving so i think tomorrow um all i'm gonna make right now for tomorrow because i'm going over my sister's is ham and then i'm gonna make what i call frijoles cerros so it's a spanish type of beans which i'll show you guys what that is i'll show you guys tomorrow when i make it um and yeah so i'm gonna show you guys how i make this soup and i hope you guys enjoy
let this caramelize and let the sausage cook just a little bit before I start to add the potatoes. I'll let the potatoes cook a little bit with it. And then I'm going to add water and the chicken bouillon and that's basically it. But I'll continue to show you guys the steps. starting to warm up a little bit and then I'm gonna let it boil I'm gonna let it sit in medium heat for a good 10-15 minutes so the potatoes could be all soft <laughs> so the potatoes can soften um, and that is pretty much it that's all she wrote so it's really really good um, I would recommend it um, oh god see I almost forgot again just kidding we're not done yet I almost forgot the green beans that would not be good because it definitely gives it flavor this is good ways to have your kids eat your their their greens so again i just drained it there's nothing in there and then i just add it to the soup i felt like i was forgetting something there we go. Try it. You want to try it to make sure it's right with seasoning, if it needs anything. And that's perfect. So I'm going to let it sit here. I'm going to cover it over medium. Let's just do medium heat, okay? Let's okay, so the soup is done. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. The... So this is the end to what this little concoction looks like. It's so good, guys. The potatoes are so soft. Um, it's just an amazing broth. So um, my kids are done with their moving. We're about to eat, make some hot chocolate, and end the day. Thank you guys again for tuning in to my second video, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.